Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco oh! and welcome to my channel. Well, we are in 2025 and more and more people are switching to Linux and the ones that aren't switching to Linux, they're usually kind of de-bloating their wo- <laughs> They're actually de-bloating their own Windows installation and there are several and impressive tools, especially the one from Chris Titus, which is an amazing tool in order to de-bloat your Windows system or you can simply use uh, systems like uh, kind of pre-built ISOs of Windows 11, like Tiny11 or Nano11. And that's really great actually, if you want to reinstall your Windows. But what happens if you don't really want to reinstall your Windows, but you want to remove all of that bloatware that, win that Windows brings, or a lot of that bloatware, especially when it's related to AI. And in this video, I'm gonna show you that you can remove all this AI crap for free without installing anything. But before, if you want to help the channel, which is basically me, lay an eye on today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Because we are in 2025 and, pe and people like less and less AI this, AI that, people just want to get rid of the AI software that Windows brings. If they want to use AI, they will install it. They will install the software like image generation, like LLMs, whatever, whatever, whatever. They don't really want bloatware from Microsoft. And that's exactly why we have the remove Windows AI from Zoicware. And again, do this at your own risk, but I did it on my previous computer, on my previous computer, on the computer with my Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, which has a version of Windows with lots of AI features, and this worked. So it should in theory work. So remove Windows AI. Why? The current 25 half 2 build of Windows 11 and future builds will include increasingly more AI features and components. This script aims to remove all of those features to improve user experience, privacy and security. As for the script features, we have several of them like disable registry keys, like disable copilot, recall, disable input insights and typing data harvesting, meaning that Microsoft uh, will not be able to harvest your data, at least not entirely, copilot in edge also disabled, image creation in paint, AI fabric service, AI actions, AI in paint again, disable voice access, disable AI voice effects and disable AI in setting search. Then we have many other things like preventing the reinstallation of AI packages, which is actually quite great. And again, this is the reason why I tell you to do this at your own risk, because it installs a custom Windows package to prevent the reinstallation of AI packages in the CBS component-based servicing store. Meaning that if you do this, you will not only remove all the AI bullcrap or bullshit, but you will also be blocking it for future updates, meaning that it won't get in your system. And then you have more things like disable copilot policies, recall AI packages in CBS and many, many other things. Now, basically what you need to do is just go here, launch with UI, copy, or click here because it will copy. Then all you have to do is go to the search bar and type in PowerShell and open the PowerShell, copy the text, control V, enter, and here it is, as simple as it can be. So again, as you saw, we have the registry keys, the AI package reinstall, copilot, and, and so on, so on, so on. And all you have to do is just go select the ones that you want to remove or disable, press apply, and it will do it. I'm not doing it on this computer for one special reason, because this computer is the one that I use for CPU benchmarking, and I want to test them all equally, so I will not remove features now, but I did that on my Ryzen AI 3 Plus 395 Plus computer, mini computer by Billink, the GTR9 Pro, and as you can see passing right now on the screen, it will take some time, it will keep disabling and removing some things, it will take some, some time, then it will ask for a reboot, and then it will reboot, and things will be perfectly fine. Now, keep in consideration one more time that this 
is at your own risk and it might uh, bring some fail regarding some specific application if you're if you're kind of disabling all of this i don't believe that's the case but if that happens maybe just keep a restore point in order to be able to to go back to your previous system in case this fails but generally i wouldn't really care much it should be all fine and dandy and that's basically it for today's video just this just go and remove everything with a simple click. Now you have more to remove actually, so this is not everything. Okay. But there's another link for more manual AI disablement, and the link is basically this. So it gives you more options in, in order to disable the gaming co-pilot, which is here in the, priva in the privacy settings. Then you have uh, more options to disable the OneDrive AI, and then I believe, yes, Windows Studio effects, and that's it. But yeah, as I told you before, you can disable this on your current Windows installation without needing to reinstall anything. You can actually prevent the updates from installing more AI bullshit in your system. And at the same time, it is free. You don't really need to install anything and it works. And well, that's all for today's short video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video if it helped you in some way. Thank you Zoicware and thank you guys for watching my video. By the way, next video will be on um, FSR 3 or FSR 4 frame generation, pacing and how enabling VSync actually fixes it in most case scenarios. Even if the game doesn't really allow VSync, yeah, I was wrong and you can just go into the adrenaline software and it works well, but we'll get there. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.